Just want to give a big shout out to all my members. I really, really appreciate that. If you want to join, hit that join button, man. I'm going to do some giveaways, start doing some stuff for the members, man, because I really do appreciate everybody. It really helps out the channel. And I love everybody like Step Cousins. Man, I hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And as always, be good to yourself, man. Hell freaking Transformers. Yeah. Are you looking for action figures? Then head over to The Chosen Prime. The link is in the description. Just follow that. And man, they got everything your heart desires. Transformers, 5-2 toys, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever you want. Just go over and follow that link, man. You can order everything you want. Just order. Just go over there and order. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night and welcome back to my channel as always i'm deluxe all right let's do another freaking transform review and today we'll be taking a look at something special uh my boy brian uh was working with a company called beast alliance and uh they worked uh they did some oversized figures uh this is an oversized knockoff of a uh, blue bolt um and they uh beast alliance worked with uh you know or he worked with beast alliance and they did some oversized ones of primal air razor pterosaur and rhinox as well uh, she is part of the uh, G1 cartoon uh, based on the King, and she is based on the Kingdom Skywarp mold. Um, what she did, I think she was in the comics too. I think there was a comic for her or something like that. I think they showed that. Um, everything's then going to be in the description. Uh, it's going to be, you know, the link and everything's going to be down there. Uh, but she revived Leo Prime. And it also, while she did that, it created Dark Amber Leo Prime, uh, which is the MP48 Plus, which is coming out in March. You know, you got the uh, recolor of Leo Prime, which is kind of the ne Nemesis one. So she had a, you know, a little something with that. So definitely, if you're going to get that uh, Leo Prime you, or the Dark Amber uh, Leo Prime, you definitely need her and everything. So like I said, um, there's a run of uh, a 1,000. Uh, he has a thousand of them made. Uh, they go, you know, they're sixty dollars shipped for one in the U.S. and two for a hundred shipped uh, in the U.S. Now, if you want to, uh, you know, uh, international, you may have to get a hold of him and see if y'all can work out something and everything. So that'd be cool. But like I said, all the link, you know, the link uh, down towards it's the it's the TFW. Um, link and everything it shows you know how you can get a hold of him with it you know and everything he's a really good dude um and yeah he decided to make this little fan favorite uh silver boat like i said it's an oversized scale so it's a knockoff to bigger uh than the original one and this is based off the skywarp mold uh so yeah so uh let's take a quick look at her all right here is blue bolt in all her glory unfortunately i do not have my skywarp or my uh air razor out to do comparisons um, I packed them up and I do not know where they're at, uh, but I'll show you some, some, you know, some scale comparisons, you know, try to, you know, make it see how you, you know, how big she is and everything, but she looks good. I like it. So here you go. You got, the, I love the, the color combo of the light blue, the dark blue, the silver looks really nice. Uh, here is the head sculpt. I think the eyes are pretty spot on. They're right straight out, you know, so that's good. Uh, you got her beak right now. Now, I think with the Sky Warp and the uh, Air Razor, I think her mouth could open, but unfortunately, this one does not, so it is stationary. But it is painted, and uh, you got the eyes and everything there painted. Love the texture. You got the, you know, it looks like the feathers. That is very nice. I love when they do that with the Beast Wars stuff. Here you go. You got the, ch you know, the chest and everything, the legs. Now, unfortunately, I do have some chipping. Uh, this is metallic blue paint right here, so I have a little chipping right here on the kneecap and a little behind the kneecap which is good because you know you can't really see that but it is there and i do have a little bit i just now saw this on the back of her head right there so uh with great paint comes great chipping unfortunately so that did happen um but you move on down we got the, the feet which are nicely painted silver i love it. it looks really good and you got the textured on the shoulder the 81 80s woman working shoulder pads right there you'll see that then you got the wingspan, which I really love. I love the dark blue fading into the uh, light blue. That looks beautiful. You got the nice uh, sculpt working throughout for the feathers. Looks really good. You got the same thing right here. Looks really nice with the blending. I like that. So that is good. All right. And you got her weapons on the side right here. And, you know, okay. So articulation wise, just the same as, you know, the other one. You can look uh, up, look down. You got a swivel right here. That is good. The feet, you know, you can move the, um, now also I had to put a little kiki on here. They were a little loose on her shins right there. Not terrible, but you know, I just, you know, wasn't, you know, as tight as I wanted. Giggity. Uh, but I did put a little kiki, um, in there and it tightened them up pretty good. So you can put floor polish or kiki right there and I'll fix it right up. And, uh, they're pretty strong. Uh, so, you know, you can move these, uh, back and forth with the, 
feet, you know, they're on a ball peg. You can move down, up, up, down. You do have a little rocker and you got a swivel too as well. So very nice. Now with the wings, just the same as, you know, Air Razor and Sky Warp, you have a bend right here, a bend right here, a bend right here. So you got tons of articulation with the uh, wings and you can go in and out. Now they did fix the part where, you know, with the uh, Air Razor was popping off. They fixed that part so this does not really pop off. It's really good. It's nice and tight and everything. So you do have quite a bit of range with the wings and everything. So that is good. But yeah, um, and that is about it with the alt mode. Um, I think it looks good. You know, she, I love, like I said, I love the color combo. And she looks pretty good like that. So there you go. That is Blue Bolt in her alt mode. All right, so there she is in that Siege Red Alert. You got Wheelie, you got Magic Square Prowl. I threw in Breakdown from Legacy. I threw in the Hot Rod from um, the Alternators. And you got Grimlock back there from uh, New Age. Just to show how, you know, she's pretty big. She got, you know, a huge wing wingspan. So, you know, that is scale right there. All right, back from transformation, and here is Blue Bolt. Now, I forgot to show the weapons. I uh, apologize for that. Uh, just blue plastic, basically. You know, her little arrow shooters, whatever. That's some little sculpt work in there. Uh, but, yeah, no uh, no paint or anything like that. It's just blue plastic. She doesn't come with a box either, so, you know, she comes like that. So, you can, uh, you can hold her, you know, hold them in the hand like that. Uh, you can, let's see if you can put them over in here right as well on the side. You want that or you can do the you know pretty cool look which i like the way these do um you can put them on the side of her thighs and that's where i'll put them for right now i think she looks pretty cool like that all right so let's take a quick look at her man looks freaking awesome i love it transformation's easy so you shouldn't be able should be able to figure out that but yeah, the head sculpt looks really good. Like I said, it is a sky warp one and a beautiful silver paint. You got the yellow as well. Maybe could have used another touch of yellow. You can see kind of the blue coming through, but it's not terrible. And the beautiful blue eyes she has, the metallic blue eyes are just spectacular. And you got the yellow eyes for there. Like I said, I do have a little, little chipping right there on the back. Luckily, it's on the back, so you, if you, you know you see them from the front, you can't see it. So that's nice. And like I said, you got the '80s woman working shoulder pads. Wonderful sculpt work with the feathers. I like that. Looks good. And you got the chest and everything. I think this is supposed to go to, go down a little further. Let's see if I could press this down a little bit more. I think it's supposed to go down a little more, but there you go. All right. So there you go, that's the chest right there with the bird in there. Beautiful silver paint throughout right there, looks good. You got the you know blue plastic and the light blue plastic, looks good. Moving on down, you got the, like I said, the metallic paint right here. Now she does have die cast. I want to say this feels like die cast. The lower legs are definitely die cast, so she does have a great weight to her. Um... A silver is uh, painted nice, like I said, this metallic. Like I said, I do have a little chipping right there and a little bit above the there, so it really kind of 
can't really tell right there. Um, and then, like I said, you got the uh, shins and you got her feet like that. And they look really good. They're nicely painted silver. Love the sculpt work on the toes. Look really good too as well. Now on the back, like I said, I got this tabbed in right here. And then you can have them however you want to. They can, you know, you can move them out and spread them out. And, you know, like that if you want to. However you want to display her, you know, it's, you know, it's your transformer. You can do whatever you want to. But you can tab these right in here just like the original. And, yeah. Pretty cool. All right, articulation real quick. So look down, not much. She could look up quite a bit. It's on a ball peg, side to side, and give you a little attitude as well. But that is a beautiful head sculpt. Uh, the shoulder pads do move up and down. You can go all the way up. It is a tight, there's some tight joints too as well. Go all the way around. Um, more than 90 degrees for the elbow bend. That is good. Uh, up and down for the uh, uh, the uh, arm, or the, I'm sorry, the hand, uh, but no swivel, things like that. She does got small little tiny hands. They're little teeny tiny hands. <laughs> so you got that. Now you can lift up uh, the tail feather back here, and she does have a waist swivel. And the tail feather does get in the way, but I think you get enough for that. Uh, you can when you take the guns off, you can get a little more as well if you want to. Uh, no ab crunch or anything like that. Now, if you want to do the full Van Damme, you're going to have to take off the weapons. Let me take these off real quick. All right. Move these up right here. So, you can do the full Van Damme. Actually, more. You can go up a little further. Well, that's good. A little squeaky squeaky. Uh, about up to there. Then, once you start hitting her uh, uh, crotch area or pelvis, it starts going out. You know, starts spreading out at that way. Um, she does not have a thigh swivel, but kind of above the knee swivel. So that kind of makes up for it. It is tight and squeaky. Be careful. Uh, she does have more than 90 degrees for the knee bend, which is good. And once again, you do have this bend right up here, but, um, yeah, it, it, well, it doesn't lock in, but once you get it into place, it's, it's really nice. And for the feet, just same as a bird, you know, when her alt mode up, down, uh, rocker and a swivel. So that's good. And with the wings, like I said, I showed you, you can do them. You can spread them out as far as you want to, or you can collapse them, whatever you want. But there you go. That is Blue Bolt in all her glory. So yeah, let me put the weapons and there you go. All right, so I threw in a range of, you know, transformers to, you know, show the scale for her. So you got MP44, and you got MP side swipe. So she's about a car, you know, car bot scale for MP scale. I threw in also Optimus Prime, Tits McGee. Here is Leo Prime. No, unfortunately, it's not the MP one. It's the Legacy one. Uh, Needle Nose, uh, Wild Rider, and I threw in Motormaster as well. And I threw in a Core Class Optimus Prime just to show how big she is. So she will scale with the MP Leo Prime and the, uh, you know, the Dark uh, Amber one as well. So there's scale. And Crapper Goddess, Crappy Tool Paper, AAA Battery, Carmex, Care Bears, Kicker, and Squeaks for more scale. Final thoughts on the overscaled or oversized uh, knockoff of Blue Bolt. Overall, I think it's a beautiful piece. You know, I've said throughout the, you know, the issues, especially the paint chipping uh, and my, uh, you know, uh, sheen, my shins were kind of loose. 
so you might need to put some kiki on there or some floor polish other than that it's really great the bird mode of the bird looks really awesome uh the transformation is easy the bot mode looks spectacular i love it i love the wingspan articulation you know i wish it had a, a you know a better rocker but other than that articulation is good materials feel good as well uh they're really tight really really tight be careful uh you will have some squeakage and everything you got that fans toy squeak and everything but man overall it's a beautiful piece of paint like i said other than the chipping and the little spots here and there uh it's spectacular i love the uh, bird, you know, the, um, the fading of the blue into the other, the lighter blue on the wings. That looks awesome. The head sculpt looks good. The weapons is cool. You know, so overall it's a great piece. If you want it, definitely go down and hit the description and hit the link and you'll be able to buy one. So I hope you like my review. Hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me. If you don't mind, hit me up some comments, tell me with all the review. And I guess I'll see you in the next transformer review. And as always be good to yourself, man, hell freaking transformers and hell freaking blue boat. And man, go get you one of these, man. It really looks freaking awesome. All right. Hey there, everybody. So just a quick question. What do y'all think about a fan just reaching out and having something made that, you know, Takara probably not going to make um, third party. Somebody from third party may uh, want to make this or something like that. But you know, what do you think about that? You know, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, let's just kick the baby and call it a night. Kick the baby. All right. Floor time. Gotta love it.